Hey, stranger. I saw how you came out of the mountains. You can be glad you didn't come by here three weeks ago. We would have taken you for an escaped convict. And we made short work of those. You look completely done in. What do you want here? I'm on my way to town. The way you look, you'll have to bribe the guys to get in. And you have to know what they want to hear. And that would be? Well, for example, that you're from Lobart's farm and want to go to the smith in the city. But that won't do you any good. You don't look like a farmer. I see. I was attacked by bandits in the mountains. Those filthy rabble. They were probably the same bastards who took one of our sheep last night. You had terrific luck. Most people don't get away alive. I need better equipment. I can imagine. But I tell you right now, we don't have anything to give away. If you can pay for what you want, Lobart will sell you something. Otherwise, go to him and ask him if he has work for you. I know the hideout of the bandits. Do you want to attack them? Count me out. It's much too dangerous. Besides, I have to watch over my sheep. But if you think you can get the riffraff off our backs, the whole farm would be very grateful to you. Where can I find Lobart? Well, on the farm, of course. The farm belongs to him. And don't try messing with him. He's thrashed a lot of tramps and thrown them off his farm. One less monster around. Hey. Can I help you with the bandits? Maybe. But as scrawny as you look, you surely haven't held a proper sword in your hand for weeks. Well, I don't have any choice but to take your offer. My time is running out. So, pay attention. Down this path here, you'll find one of those filthy holes in the ground that bandits like to hide in. The fellows there are the same ones who stole my stuff. Let me know when you're ready and we'll nab the rabble. I need better equipment. Those swine haven't left me much. I can give you a wolf knife. Will that do for now? You call that a knife? But what about healing? I still have two healing potions here. Interested? Sure, give them here. There's bound to be a lot of trouble here before long. What's up? A guy named Cavalorn is coming to get you. Rats, he's still alive. I'm out of here. Wait a minute. One of the farmers outside of town sent me. What? The farmers know the hideout? They have noticed the missing sheep. He wants to see you all dead. Wait, you're not going to do me in, are you? After I helped you, go on in and bump off the others if you're that eager to see blood. I'm staying out of it. Hey, you! You're Let's right. mix it up with those guys. Sure thing. Just keep my back clear, okay? Now they're in for a nasty surprise. You deserve that, lowlife! Thanks for the gold, you hero. You 
shouldn't have come here. You deserve that, Lola. You poor sucker. You don't even have any gold on you. You deserve that, low life. Nothing there. So, that's done. Ha! They shouldn't have messed with me. Then I can finally fulfill my mission. I've lost too much time already. What sort of mission? Ah, uh, yeah. First I have to get into the city, and then later. Ah, uh, I don't know how I'm going to get all that done in time. What about me? Hmm, why not? You could take the letter into the city. Then I'll have a bit more time to take care of my equipment. One of the bandits must have the letter in his pocket. Take it to Vatras, the water mage in the city. You'll find him in the temple of Adenos. He preaches there all day. Tell him that I wasn't able to get it done. And if he asks where I am, just tell him I'm already on my way to the meeting point. Okay? Oh yeah, one more thing. First buy some decent clothes from the farmers. Otherwise, you may be taken for a bandit. Here's a couple of coins. Can you teach me something? Sure. You know that. Man, they really took a lot out of you. You can't remember anything at all, can you? I want to learn your abilities. Sure. What do you want to know? With soft souls, you have a better chance of getting close to your opponents without them noticing. That's better. You've forgotten a lot since then, but we'll get it back. Those bandits won't trouble you anymore. Why? Are they dead? They picked a fight with the wrong guy. Thank Innos. Here, it isn't much, but I want you to have it. I'll tell the others about this.
Hey. Why are you hanging around on my land? Whose side are you on? The rebelling farmers or the king? I don't understand. What? Don't mess with me, boy. I want to know where you stand. So who are you for? I'm for the king. For the king? <laughs> That's what the city guard said when they took half my sheep. But where are those bastards when we have to keep the bandits off our backs? Where will they be when the orcs invade us? I'll tell you, in the city, behind thick walls. So leave me alone with the king. What's going on here anyway? Don't you know what's going on? Boy, where are you from? We're on the edge of a civil war. Up till now, all the farmers looked at the tribute to the city as fair taxation. But since the paladins have come to Corinnus, the city guards visit us more and more often. And little by little, they're taking everything. If it goes on like this, soon we won't have anything left for ourselves. Some farmers are starting to rebel. Onar was the first of them. What about you? Whose side are you on? Peasants or king? I'm too close to the city to really have a choice. But I'm glad about that. I wouldn't know how to decide. The king is bleeding us dry. And Onar sets his mercenaries on anyone who won't join him. And that's why most of the other farmers are still undecided. But sooner or later, they'll have to choose one side or the other. Tell me more about this Onar. Onar is the biggest farmer here in the area. He is broken with the city. They say he's hired mercenaries to keep the city guard off his back. Can't blame him. In any case, no royal soldier dares to set foot on his farm anymore. Who are those mercenaries that Onar hired? I don't know much about the guys. Supposedly, a lot of them are former prisoners from the mining colony. Everybody knows what you can expect from them. I need some sensible clothes. I can give you clean farmer's work clothes. Can you pay for them then? Well, you could work off a part of the price. If you're someone who is looking for work. I'm looking for work. I can't use another farm hand, but I could offer some work to a day laborer. Well, what I mean is you can lend a hand in the field. And there are certainly a few other things to do around here. I could pay you with gold or give you a few decent things to wear. The things are worth a fair bit. I can't give them to you for nothing, but I can sell them to you cheap if you work for me. By the looks of you, I should say, take the clothes. Anyway, the small turnip field next to the barn needs to be harvested. All right. Then hurry it up a bit before I change my mind. Here are your turnips. Hey, you're not all that worthless after all. Take them to my wife in the house and tell her to cook them. What about my pay? Well, I can give you five gold pieces or sell you the clothes cheaper. Well, what's it to be? Make me a better price for the togs. Good. I'll give them to you for 10 gold pieces less. Have you got anything else for me to do? I don't. You can ask my wife or the boys in the fields. Maybe they need some help. Hey. I've got a few turnips here for you. Great. That should be enough to fatten those guys up. 
Since you're here anyway, I saw a traveling trader pass by here a few minutes ago. I think he stopped on his way to town. Go to him and see whether he's got a decent frying pan for me. Give me the gold and I'll go see the merchant for you. Are you saying I can trust you? Just don't spend the money on booze, do you hear? Can you give me something to eat? Here, take this. You're a good lad. Who do we have here? You're on your way to the city. Am I not right? Maybe. Mm. <coughs> you look like a fugitive. All fugitives are headed for the city. You could even be a former convict for the mining colony. I don't care where you come from, but I believe I have an interesting offer for you. What do you have to offer? The way you look, the guards will never let you into the city. I can help you get into the city. I have here a small piece of paper with the royal seal and the governor's signature. A pass. With this scrap of paper in your pocket, you can run about as raggedly as you please, and the guards will leave you alone. Interested? There must be a catch to this. No, no catch. You will merely owe me a favor. How will you get into town? The guards know me. I will simply tell them that I have lost my pass. What do you want for your pass? I knew you were the right man. Listen, you will get the pass from me, now. Just like that? Just so. But if I meet you in the city, you owe me a favor. Do we have a deal? Sure, give me that paper. Here, be careful with that. It is very valuable. Uh, one more thing, don't even think about breaking your word. As a merchant, I have a great deal of influence in the city. And it wouldn't go well for you, believe me. Show me your wares. Take your pick. I've got to go. Suit yourself. And how goes the work? Well, same as always. Lot to do, not enough money, and with a bit of bad luck, the orcs will come tomorrow and burn down our farm. The king's paladins have occupied the whole city, but I can hardly believe they'll move their butts out here when the orcs attack us. Can I help you? I'm looking for work. Do you know anything about working in the fields? What is there to know? Ah, in that case, I think we're fine here. Thank you. If you want to work for Lobart as a day laborer, I can only warn you, he pays people like you really miserable. He offered to sell me some clean clothes cheap if I helped out on the farm. Hmm. Well, I don't have anything for you to do, but you can bring me and the boys something to drink. Fetch me a bottle of wine, and I'll tell Lobart you were a real help to us. <laughs> Here's your wine. Uh, better not ask where you got it from, huh? Uh, <laughs> uh, who cares? Uh, thanks, anyway. Lobart will only hear the best about you. I'm headed for town. And? Is there anything interesting you can tell me about the city? Nope. 
But Malif goes to the city from time to time. Maybe he knows something. I mean, something that would interest you. Is there any interesting news? I could have sworn I saw an orc over there on the edge of the woods two days ago. Since then, I've kept at least one eye open at night. Here's your frying pan. Fine. Let's see then whether it's any good. Hey, you! How much for the work clothes? Well, we'll see. You've worked the field for me. You helped my wife. Vino says you were real help to him. And that's saying something. He doesn't usually hold with day laborers. Malith said you chased the bandits off. The bastards have caused us a lot of trouble. Thanks to you, we're rid of them. Forty gold pieces. Give me the work clothes, then. There's a chest in my house where you'll find clean things. But don't even think about taking anything else without asking.
there. there. Hey, you, come here. What is it? On your way to the city, and really busy, too. Listen, you look like a smart guy to me. I bet you'll go far in life. You're certainly nobody's fool. I could see that right away. Say, you'd probably like to earn a few gold coins, wouldn't you? Why not? You'll have to forgive an ignorant old seaman. I'm a stranger in these parts, and I don't really know all the rules. So I had to find out the hard way that traveling strangers aren't welcome in the harbor city. Now I'm standing here with no idea how I'm supposed to get into the city. I have some extremely important business to conduct and my client won't tolerate a delay, you see. You'll help me find a way to get past the city guard, won't you? About the city guards? Yes, got an idea. You could get into the city as a herb gatherer. What? Do I look like I'd be picking flowers in the woods? I have a pass for the city. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to act like I'm a citizen of the town or what? Take a look at me, boy. Nobody's going to believe that. What about bribery? Well, if that worked for me, I'd have tried it already. They should let you pass if you're wearing these farmer's clothes. That's just what I need. Man, I knew I could count on you. Nobody will bother me disguised as a local yokel. <laughs> Excellent. You did really well. Here's your promised reward. What? 50 measly gold coins? You can't be serious. Gold isn't everything, my friend. Take them for now. I have the feeling that we'll be seeing one another soon. And who knows, maybe I'll return the favor. Look after yourself. I can't read that.
Halt! What is it? You aren't getting in here, my boy. Why not? Looking the way you do, you're sure to cause nothing but trouble here, boy. And we got enough rabble in the city. We have no use for people without money. I need to see the leader of the Paladins. I've got an important message for him. Oh, and what important message might that be? I have come to get the Eye of Inos. What? Never heard of it. What's that supposed to be? It's an important artifact. You don't look much like an important messenger. Do you have some kind of identification? I've got a pass. Really? And who you kill for that, you cutthroat? Now, will you let me pass or not? Well, go on in before I change my mind. Halt, stranger. I am Lothar, paladin of the king and humble servant of Innos, your lord. Our commander, Lord Hagen, has entrusted me with the task of explaining to all newcomers the new laws which apply to all inhabitants of the city. Since people have started simply vanishing all over this town, everyone needs to watch out that they don't suffer the same fate. just gossip. I have an important message for the leader of the Paladins. The Honorable Lord Hagen is not receiving anyone. Lord Andre, the commander of the City Guard, is responsible for all issues pertaining to the common folk. believe everything you hear. Listen, the city is threatened by dragons. That can't be true. Another lunatic. We have enough unrest in the city as it is. And without some dimwit scaring people with fairy tales about dragons, I immediately locked up the last person who was here telling dragon tales and sent him to the Valley of Mines with the prison transport. So mind your tongue. We can't use anyone here who spreads panic among the people. I'm not touching that. Somebody already reported the dragons here? That's been known a yes. long time. The fellow's name was Diego. I think so, in any case. I warned him, just like you. I agree with you completely. But the lunatic just wouldn't stop getting on my nerves. I wouldn't be so sure. I have come to get the Eye of Inos. The Sacred Eye of Inos? How do you know about that? You're not a member of the Order. I a magician told me about it. I don't know what his motives were when he entrusted one of the secrets of our Order to you. But he certainly didn't mean for you to get your fingers on it. But I don't want to hear any more about it. Know about First, you start with fairy tales about dragons, and then really this. Believe that. Incredible. I hardly know what to believe anymore. All right. Explain the rules of the city to me. First, I hardly know what to believe the Honorable anymore. Paladin Lord Hagen resides in the upper quarter, gossip. along with his troops. That is why access to the upper quarter is allowed only to honorable citizens. Second, surprise me. the town hall in the upper quarter is now the command post of the paladins. Only the paladins themselves and members of the militia have access to it. And third, whoever is accused of a crime must exonerate himself with the commander of the militia. Any questions? How do I become a citizen of the town? Only those with regular jobs will be considered citizens of the town. But don't think that you'll be admitted to Lord Hagen just because you're a citizen of the town. As a citizen, you have access to the upper quarter, nothing more. Only as a member of the militia will you have access to the town hall. I've got my own opinion about that. Where can I find work? You'll have to apply as an apprentice to one of the masters here in the lower part of the city. As soon as a master accepts you, you are a citizen of the town. However, the other masters must agree to it. That's the custom here in Corinus. If you were thinking about looking for work in the Harvard district, forget it. The scum of the city live there. Don't even go there. You would regret it. How do I get to the upper quarter? Say, are you listening to me no, at all? You're not a citizen of this town. You can save yourself the trip. The guards won't let you in. The entire area behind the inner gate is off limits to you. 
How do I get accepted into the militia? By express command of Lord Hagen, only citizens of the town will be admitted into the militia. I see. If you want to know more, speak to Lord Andre in the barracks. It can't go on like this forever. What do I have to do to get armor like yours? What? You aren't even a member of the militia! You're not even a citizen! How can you even think of being allowed to wear the armor of a paladin? Only a few militia soldiers, those who have performed extraordinary deeds, have been granted that honor so far. If you want to be a paladin, you have a long road ahead of you, my boy. Don't tell me you didn't know that. Where can I find the commander of the city guard? Lord Andre can be found in the barracks at the other end of the city. He doesn't see that. I can't help him. Where can I spend the night here? If you're looking for a place to sleep, go to the hotel directly across from the barracks. The paladins pay for the lodging of all travelers who come to the city. The traveling traders from the marketplace are also lodged there. The townspeople are simply disappearing? Yes, it seems to be more every day. It's most annoying that the militia have still not been able to discover what's behind these strange occurrences. Small wonder that the town's inhabitants are very wary of strangers right now. So don't provoke them when you're in town, understood? I've got to go. If I hear one more time that you are telling people here about dragons, you will be in big trouble. Do I make myself clear? I don't believe this is gonna change. If he doesn't see that, I can't help him. I wouldn't be so sure. was a torment for Beliar. Oh, that hey, you, wait. Uh, you look familiar to me. What do you want? I've seen your face before somewhere, right? Here, we found this picture on some bandits we picked up a few days ago. It looks a lot like you. Apparently, those guys were looking for you. Gee, I'd never have thought of that myself. Very funny. What did those guys want from you? Ask them yourself. You've got them safely locked up, haven't you? No, they're dead. I guess we'll never know then. If you're in some kind of trouble, go talk to Lord Andre. Maybe he can help you. You'll find him in the barracks. Enos, be with you, stranger. What brings you to me? I want to take up service with the Paladins. An honorable request. However, I have my orders only to accept citizens of the town into the militia. My commander is afraid that spies or saboteurs could sneak in. He wants to limit the risk this way. Therefore, you must first be a citizen of the town. Whether this rule makes sense or not is disputable, but orders are orders. I've got an important message for Lord Hagen. Well, you stand before one of his men. What is this about? That I must tell Lord Hagen myself. Suit yourself. But you should know one thing. Lord Hagen receives only paladins, or those who are in the service to paladins. It is beneath his dignity to waste his time with members of the common folk. What should I expect with the militia? Let me make one thing clear. To be a soldier of the militia means much more than strolling through the city in a uniform. It is a dirty and even bloody job. Once you are one of us, a great deal of work will be waiting for you. But it is worth it. Besides the pay, you might someday have the chance of becoming a holy warrior of Innos. Why are you paladins in town? The goals of our mission are secret. I can only tell you that there is no danger for the citizens of the town. You need not worry. Is there a faster way to join you? Hmm. You're really serious about this, aren't you? Good. Listen, I have a problem. 
If you solve it for me, I shall see to it that you are accepted into the militia. But the most important thing is, you must not breathe a word of it to anyone. What's your problem? Recently, there have been a number of thefts in the city. Thus far, we have not been able to capture anyone. The thieves are simply too skillful. The scum know their business. I'm sure that we're dealing with an organized gang. It would not amaze me if there were a thieves' guild in Corinus. Find the leaders of the gang and hunt them down. Then I shall see to it that you are accepted into the militia, regardless of whether or not you are a citizen. But you must say nothing about our agreement. Where should I start looking for the thieves? If I knew that, I'd go there myself. I can only tell you this much. We recently turned the entire harbor district upside down and found nothing. Absolutely nothing. The people there are not very talkative, particularly if you wear the armor of a paladin. But you are an outsider. They will not distrust you so quickly. You could ask around the harbor first, but be careful. If the people there realize that you are working for the paladins, you will learn nothing. What should I do once I've found one of the thieves? If it's a matter of a lackey, a henchman, or some small fry, it would be best if you avoid a fight. You should rather come to me and report. I shall then see to it that the fellow winds up behind bars. The city guard could intervene in an open battle, and you would not have the opportunity of explaining to them what is going on. Furthermore, there is a bounty for every rotten apple you put behind bars. However, if you locate the leader's hideout, well, then you probably won't be able to avoid a fight. Hey, you! How's your duty? Oh, these boys swing their swords like farmers. But when I'm done with them, every single one of them will be a tough, hard bastard. I want to join the militia. So? Are you a citizen of the town? No. Then Lord Andre won't take you. Sure, you can talk to him, but I don't think he'll make an exception for you. What's it like with the militia? Lord Andre is our commander now. The militia used to report to the governor. <laughs> he had no idea what we do here. But Lord Andre knows what he's doing. He takes good care of the men. Everyone who starts here gets some decent armor and a good weapon. And there are bonuses if you've done a good job. He pays a bounty for every criminal captured. Can you also train me in sword fighting? Lord Andre has ordered that we train everyone who is in a position to defend the city. But that's only true for combat training. All other kinds of training are reserved for the militia. Can you at least halfway handle a weapon? I think so. All right. You can start when you're ready. What are the advantages of one or two-handed weapons? Quite simple. With a one-handed weapon, you're faster. That can be a considerable advantage in battle. Two-handed weapons are more ponderous. You have to fight with foresight, but you can do a lot more damage when you're hit. Where should I start, with one-handed or two-handed weapons? That's entirely up to you. If you specialize in only one type of weapon, you automatically learn the other at the same time. If, for instance, you're good at fighting with one-handed swords, but still a beginner with two-handed weapons, your two-handed skills will go up as well whenever you train with a one-hander. In that case, the training is more exhausting than if you train with both types of weapons. Just start and you'll soon see what I'm talking about. Let's begin with the training. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm training the boys to use a crossbow and help them become a little more dexterous. Could you train me? No, I only train the men in the service of the king, nobody else. But we can always use good people, so if you want to join the militia, go talk to Lord Andre.
Ah, customer, what can I do for you? I'm looking for a room. Ah, you're in the right place then. One of the paladins told me that I could spend the night here for free. Yes, yes. Just go up the stairs. We still have one or two beds free. Why do the paladins pay for everything? I don't know what that's all about either. For one thing, I think they want to get all the poor suckers off the streets so they don't make any mischief. And for another, they want to get on the good side of the traveling traders. Now that the farmers are rebelling, we have to rely on the traders for provisions. Besides, I think they want to improve the morale in the city a bit. Lord Andre has even arranged for free beer to be given out at the Gala Square. Who's staying here at the moment? Almost all of them are traveling traders from the market. Aha! Don't even think about messing with their stuff. I don't want any trouble here. I have a few questions about the city. Tell me about the town. Corinus is one of the wealthiest cities within the kingdom, even if it doesn't look like it at the moment. But since the Orc War started, trade has almost come to a complete standstill. The king has requisitioned the entire merchant fleet for military service, which means that hardly any ships come into the harbor now. So, the supply of goods is very scarce now, and many citizens of the town are very worried. Nobody really knows what the future will bring. There's basically nothing we can do but wait and see what happens. It's not like we can change anything. Where can I buy something around here? The market is directly in front of the door. You should be able to find everything there. There are a few more shops and craftsmen on the other side of town. Most of them are near the other city gate. Also, there's a fishmonger in the harbor district. His shop is right at the harbor. He's easy to find. Enacted. From this moment onward, Lord Arn. 